Uh, it's all good news. That means it's more than likely that they'll hit that uh, February 4th opening date, but it's not going to advance because it takes time for cure, for concrete to cure, meaning set up like a week or more. I'm going to get out of the way there. We're going to push in and show you some of the progress here. We've noticed just in the last two minutes. Um, you can see all those white blocks sitting there on top. That the wall was just where's this one wall yesterday. Today there are two walls. This again is this big long ramp that will deliver southbound traffic into downtown. But you're about to see a lot more what that ramp is about and beyond. Inside the construction zone, crews are setting rebar. There's already one pour of concrete below this one. Big deal, you ask? Well, this is what that same spot looked like just a week ago. This gap you've been driving through southbound when the viaduct was still open, now filled in. This is the final pavement that we're putting down uh, later today and tomorrow uh, after the rebar is placed. Dave Sowers is the project's deputy administrator and met us again as we stood in the middle of what is the northbound off-ramp that will carry traffic to the stadiums from Highway 99. And the street it connects up to a new stretch of Dearborn paved on Wednesday. And the partial ramp demolition to make room for Dearborn, that happened just last weekend. We consider the work that has happened over the last week to be on schedule. We're hitting all of our milestones. Remember, there are two ends to connect up to the tunnel. This is the south end with the most work. But things are also happening up north, too, near Lake Union. We were here last Friday with Dave Sowers. Behind me, this uh, black geotextile wrapped wall is a temporary wall that will be removed. The roadway, the permanent roadway that we stand on right here, actually extends underneath that uh, temporary embankment. So all of that uh, material, that earth, that dirt will come out. That wall built of dirt filled bags was holding up a chunk of the northbound Highway 99 lanes into the old Battery Street tunnel. Today there's little left of it as a backhoe finishes up loading truckload after truckload. So why is this construction happening so fast? Good weather is helping, but when it comes to building things, the secret at the south end seems to be these giant styrofoam blocks called geofoam. They weigh a lot less than dirt, and while a bit more expensive, can be paved over within days. You just have to wrestle the blocks into place, and they don't settle like soil. If they had to use dirt here. This closure would have lasted probably about six months instead of three weeks. Now they've only been using these geofoam blocks for about 10 years now, but you'll find them all around here, largely because the soil in this area is kind of squishy, unstable stuff to begin with. So this gives them some big advantages here. By the way, that ramp won't be open on the 4th. That will take about another week longer because it is probably the single biggest pick the, the single biggest piece of this out here and again they have to do striping they have to do other barricade work other things too uh, but pretty much everything else is still expected to be ready to go on the 4th of February live uh, in Seattle Glenn Farley King 5 News